At first look, the blue-ringed octopus appears harmless. Its colorful appearance and small size might make it seem cute rather than dangerous. But don't be fooled by its adorable look. This little octopus can be extremely deadly, and it acts fast. And the worst part, there's no antivenom currently available. Stick around as we explore this enigmatic creature. The blue-ringed octopus lives in the Pacific Ocean. It hangs out in shallow tide pools and coral reefs with soft sandy bottoms. When it's not searching for food or a mate, it often hides in cracks, shells, or underwater debris. If you happen to spot it outside of its hiding spots, you'll notice how it gets its name. When it feels threatened, bright blue rings show up all over its body, like a warning to other animals that it's not to be messed with. They have a special way of changing color really fast using special cells under their skin called chromatophores. They also have these other cells called iridophores that make the rings look shiny. When they get scared, their muscles make the blue rings show up on top of their normal color, which is usually yellow or cream. They even have dark pigmented cells under the rings to make the color look even stronger. These octopuses are also great at hiding. They can use their color-changing powers to blend into their surroundings and hide from animals that might want to eat them. You can barely see it. And sometimes they even use seashells to blend in with the surroundings. Such a clever animal! There might be around 10 different kinds of blue-ringed octopuses, but only three of them have proper names from scientists and are often spotted in the wild. One kind is called the Greater Blue-Ringed Octopus. It's about 12 centimeters long, including its arms. It's been found in other places like Indonesia, the Philippines, Papua New Guinea, Vanuatu, and the Solomon Islands. Another kind is the Southern Blue-Ringed Octopus. This one can go as deep as 50 meters and is found along Australia's southern coast. It's about 22 centimeters long and has about 50 to 60 blue rings on a base that can be gray-green to cream. There's also the blue-lined octopus. It has shiny blue lines on its back and the blue rings on its arms, even though its name doesn't mention that. This one lives off the eastern coast of Australia, from southern Queensland to southern New South Wales. Now, let's talk about how toxic the blue-ringed octopus is. Even though all octopuses, and some squids and cuttlefish, have poison, the blue-ringed octopus stands out. Its poison is incredibly strong. In fact, it's a thousand times more powerful than cyanide. Cyanide has been described as one of the most lethal poisons known to man. So try to imagine a venom one thousand times more powerful. This small octopus, about the size of a golf ball, has enough poison to kill 26 people in just minutes. That's why it's known as one of the most dangerous creatures in the ocean. They make a strong poison called tetrodotoxin, which is also found in pufferfish and can be deadly. The poison comes from special bacteria in their mouth glands. It's even more dangerous than the poison of any land animals. The octopus uses this poison when hunting. It grabs crabs, shrimp, and other small fish, breaks their outer shells with its beak, and puts in the poison. Then it eats the paralyzed prey. Only the hard shell is left behind. So what happens if a blue-ringed octopus bites you? First, the poison makes your nerves stop working, so your muscles can't move. You might feel numb. Other things can happen too, like feeling sick, losing your vision, or not seeing well, losing your senses, and not being able to move well. Eventually, your muscles, even the ones that help you breathe, stop working. This can be really dangerous. There is no known antidote for tetrodotoxin. All healthcare practitioners can do is provide supportive care or use a ventilator if patients are unable to breathe. If you ever come across one of these blue and yellow octopuses, get away quickly. Its bite usually doesn't hurt much, so you might not even know you were bitten until it's too late. Luckily, these octopuses don't usually want to fight. They might only bite people if they're scared or handled. Despite being so toxic, blue-ringed octopuses have caused only three confirmed deaths. And guess what? There haven't been any known deaths from their bites since the 1960s. But there have been plenty of close calls. Back in 2006, a four-year-old boy got really sick after an octopus bit him. He had picked up the octopus from a tide pool at a beach in Queensland, Australia. First, he threw up many times. Then he couldn't see well, and his muscles stopped working. 
The boy had to use a special machine to help him breathe for 17 hours, but he got better and was okay. Also, in March 2021, a lady took photos holding a blue-ringed octopus in Bali. She didn't know the octopus was very dangerous. Luckily, she didn't get hurt, but people were upset with her for not being careful. This is a reminder to be aware of the animals around you, and sometimes appearances are deceptive. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something new, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment. See you next time!